And both teams getting set to run through their respective inflatable. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you call Lake Hamilton. So That's I, a full-on wolf. We have we go with the helmet. We yeah, I like the helmet better. The helmet, but it, unfortunately, it's the old helmet. We've switched helmets since then. Let's welcome the Lippers. Not an oppressively hot night, but fairly warm out. Oh, I, I, I looked at it earlier. The temperature's supposed to drop pretty good every hour. It's going to be a, a, a good football weather night by the time it's all said and done. A little, little chill in the air and uh, the sign that fall is coming. Well, I tell you, we have had a, an exceptionally mild August. I think if we had a hot night, these kids wouldn't know what to do. They've had really not too bad of temperature in terms of practice this yeah. season. And you know, you saw that last week. Normally the first week where one of the big stories we have is cramps and you hardly ever saw anybody getting stretched out and being cramp you know, cramping over on the sideline. So um, I think that, you know, plays right into the temperature and how it was that night. So the Leopards set up to return the opening kickoff. We've got Demise Jimerson and Devin Langston back deep. Both had some good returns last week. Be interesting to see. You know, it seemed like almost everybody we played last year went with some form of the sky kick uh, in order to avoid the return men. And that's becoming, at least in, in 4A, it seems like fairly prevalent. Yeah, yeah, that's a common thing. But uh, I would be, I mean, I, I'm not going to say they're not going to sky kick because they very well could. I haven't seen the film. But... Uh, I would be willing to bet Lake Hamilton usually has a kid that's got a pretty solid leg. Uh, they got a pretty strong soccer program, if I yeah, remember correctly. They do. They're usually one of our uh, preseason opponents, so we see them every year. And they, they've got some legs. So if they wanted to kick deep, I guarantee you they probably got somebody who can. And they've got that ability. Again, Jefferson and Langston deep for Malvern as the ball is teed up, or teed up rather. And we are set for the second game of the season. Number five, Jackson Johnson. And deep for the Lakers, Demias Jimerson. I'm Devin Langston. Kick is away, and it is a good kick. Bounds the nine-yard line. Picked up by Jimerson. Jimerson at the 30. Loses the football. And it's recovered by Lake Hamilton at the 41-yard line of Malvern. And it looked like Seth that Jimerson was a step away from breaking it. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was an emotional roller coaster because you kind of saw a uh, hole open and Demise shot through it and was looking like if he had one broken tackle, he was taking it to the house. And then all of a sudden he spun around and when he did, the ball comes out. And Zach Bradley was Johnny on the spot, fell right on it for Lake Hamilton and. Uh, Puts the Leopard defense out to start right away. Utah Aitken. What a name. A-I-T-K-E-N. Utah. Under center. One man split to the right side. Ball's on the right hash mark. As Aitken takes a snap. Turns and gives to his halfback. Mad quickly by Malver the Malvern defense. That was Jacob Nichols, Jacob Nichols on the carry. He gets nowhere. It's second and ten. Yeah, it looks like Hayden Whitlow and Jay Sean Don sniffed that out. Did a pretty good job of uh, filling the gap, staying home, and uh, making a good play on first down for no gain. May have to listen to Pulley say he says Utah's name. <laughs> Aitken. I'll go with that for now. Aitken under center. One man split to the right. Fake to give. Looking to throw over the middle. Pass complete at the 28 of Malvern. Tackle made at the 25. Nick Hammock on the reception. The Hammock tackle. was just kind of running a drag the across the middle, just kind of gaining depth as he went. Uh, kind of a lackadaisical Hamilton. run, really. Um, Jay Sean Don was right there, but just never seemed to really press the coverage. And easy pitch and catch for Lake Hamilton. First and 10 for the Wolves. Aitken takes a snap, gives to his fullback, and he's a load. Gets across the 20-yard line, Randall down to the 19. The yeah, he uh, he got Murdoch that with a full-on head of steam. Murdoch. Luckily, Wesley Murdoch was able 19, to get just Murdoch. enough of him and uh, clip him and bring him down, or that could have been a uh, big, big bruising run all the way to the end zone. 6'1", 230 pounds. 
We said they have some grown men on the team. He's one of them. That is Randall Nichols on that last carry. Second down, and we'll call it four. Ball on the 19 of Malvern. Give to Nichols again. This time he's brought down at the 15-yard line. Pick up a one on the play. On the carry. Jarvis Owens did a really good he job of squeezing down, down the line three. right there, wrapping him he up immediately. Unfortunately, uh, as Mike down, said, with how big he is, he had some power and was able to pull him forward and get the first down, but still good play by Jarvis there. Seth said it is first and ten. This is the opening drive of the game after a fumble on the kickoff from Malvern, or for Malvern, rather. Nichols gives to his tailback, and he's off to the races. It's going to be a touchdown for Lake Hamilton. Jacob Nichols on the carry. Yeah, I don't I'm trying to find the name here. Tyler Barrett, number 57, did a good job. He was coming out. He uh, he set the uh, the outside block to make the hole there on Devin Langston, and when he did, it just opened up and like the Red Sea, and then it, it was off to the races. So Lake Hamilton sets up for the extra point. Jackson Johnson, the kicker, gets it away, and it is good. It's a 7-0 lead for Lake Hamilton. We'll be back after this. Let's get a return to Claude Mann Stadium. Lake Hamilton scored on their opening drive. Malvern gets another shot here. Jemerson on the return across the 25 to 30. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Right. Leopards will start first and 10 from there. Yeah, it looked like much more of an angled kick trying to uh, play your coverage over there and not, not have so many holes for Demise. To find them. Still a pretty good return by Demise. Uh, pretty good starting field position on the 31-yard line for Malvern. 9.48 to go in the first. Trips to the left side. One man split to the right. Florence sets up alongside Jimerson. Sets up to his left. Like they drew Lake Hamilton offsides, assuming a Malvern lineman didn't move. It looks like they're going to mark this one off against the Wolves. So legal, or excuse me, Encroachment against Hamilton. Yeah, that's a, uh, a staple of a Brandon Embry offense. If we can get you doing it early, we'll be doing it all night. First down and five now after the penalty. Same formation for the Leopards. Jimerson gets additional signals from the sidelines. Looking to throw. Over the middle. Pass complete. First down Malvern up over the 45. To the 46-yard line. Pass complete to Brandon Scott. Yeah, they call him B. Scott. He's a uh, the, the catcher for the baseball team. Does a few other things as well. But he does a nice stop right there. Finds the open area. Gets the ball. Gets up field. Gets a nice first down. Oh. Leopards move there. That's Parker Freer up there. Cardinal Sin is a receiver, as we always talk about. You're looking at the ball. You're not listening to anything. Wait, I got a question. Though. Which is the bigger sin, doing that as a wideout or doing that as a coach's son? I'm sure he's going to hear about it tonight. I'll tell you that. <laughs> he doesn't have to wait for the film session. He'll get it right then and there. First down, 15 for the Leopards. Freer stays split out to the right side, looking to throw his Malvern. Pass complete again to Scott. Scott up to the 49-yard line, so he gets the penalty yardage plus about three, four more. Yeah, it looks like that's just the same play we ran before. Everybody's running stops. B. Scott, again, does a good job of finding the open area, and then as he's being hit, does a good job of rolling out and uh, picking up the extra yardage. Ball set up on the left hash mark. Now trips to the right side. One man splits to the left. Second down and seven for Malvern after that game. Looking to throw again. Pass complete. Another first down for the Lepers up to the 38-yard line. That was, uh, they call him Honey Bun, uh, Darian Weaver. He uh, had, I, you just, just so you know, I'm not ever calling him Honey Bun. Yeah, I don't know why they do either, but 
Uh, anyway, there is a flag on the plate. Sideline morning. Sideline morning on Lake Hamilton. He ran a nice little uh, kind of an in route or a gut, some may call, and then he, when he got it, he did a nice job of finding the seam and getting upfield and getting extra yardage from Alvin. Trips left again. It's been all through the air so far on this drive. Ball at the 39-yard line. Fake to give, looking to throw again. In and out of the hands of his intended receiver was looking for Matlock. Yeah, a little curl around right Jimerson there, find the open area. Uh, I think Matlock Jimerson was intending for uh, Matlock to settle in that open area and stay, and Matlock can, can kind of continued to run. And a little misconnection. Uh, those of you who just watching home think it was thrown behind him, but I think it was just uh, a miscommunication how they thought the route should have been run. Empty backfield as Jimerson sets up in shotgun. Trips left, two receivers to the right. Jimerson looking to run. Jimerson up to the 35-yard line, pick up a four. It'll be third down and six. I didn't know that there was any doubt that's what he was doing. Almost as soon as he caught it, he took off with a head full of steam. Nice job of finding the open area and getting as much as he can get before getting tackled. Able to pick up good yardage, even though Lake Hamilton kind of had the box stacked a little there. We're going to run it again. Off left tackle, breaks a tackle. Up near the 30-yard line. He's going to be about a yard and a half, maybe two yards shy of the first. And it will be fourth down. Looked like same play. There was actually a little bit of a hole that opened up, so it was looking pretty good, but he just wasn't able to find that little extra crease to get the extra yard and a half we needed for the first. Go with a little bit bigger line up here. Take time to compliment. There has not been one snap rolled back to the quarterback yet. They have all been on the money. Knocking on wood, but must be something we put some high emphasis on. Got a sophomore in there at center, and he's doing a good job thus far. You got Jordan Hart taking the snap. Hart fakes the give. He keeps. He's got the first down as he goes over the right tackle to the 25-yard line. Yeah, the, the, the leopard cat, the wild cat there, we brought Demias Jimerson in motion. Hart takes the snap, fakes the give to Demias, goes straight up the middle uh, like a bulldozer and picks up the first down. Ball at the 25 after that fourth down conversion. Flags come out before the play is underway. It's going to be a false start against Malvern. They'll back them up to the 30-yard line. You know what's funny about that, Mike, is coaching Jordan in the eighth grade. Uh, he had, you know how kids develop. They lose a little bit of baby fat. He hadn't really lost that yet, but he was one of those that always wanted to run the ball, always wanted to catch the ball. And you were just, no, you're a lineman, you're a lineman, you're a lineman, and now he's out there running the wildcat, picking up first downs for us. So you, just, you couldn't see the potential, Seth. Oh, no. No. I'll tell you a story later. <laughs> Give to Florence. He gets up over the 30, up to the 28-yard line. We, uh, Coach Harden and I, when Coach Harden was here, we drafted one day in practice. And I had Jordan on my team with Demise as my quarterback. And I ran a tackle eligible with him streaming right up the seam. Ah. It was a bomb, and it was a touchdown. So I, I did see the potential. <laughs> Trips right. One man split to the left. Jimerson takes a snap, rolls to his right, throws out to the right side. Pass incomplete. Like, Freer well, had it for a moment. Yeah, that was uh, – Freer was running an out route there. And one of those things where right about the time the ball gets there, the head whips around to see what's up in front of you and trying to see what yardage you can get. And – you take your eye off the ball before it's in your hands, and it's not very easy to catch it. Third down and 13. Leopards at their own 28-yard line. Leopards have three receivers split to the right, one man to the left. Florence in the backfield alongside Jimerson. Fake the give, looking to throw. Got a man in the end zone! Touchdown, Melbourne! Freer on the reception. Well, that's how you make up for it right there. Parker Freer just streams right up the center. Uh, really uncovered. Looked like a busted coverage there by Lake Hamilton. Demise does a nice job of just laying it out and let Freer run right under it. Touchdown, Melvin. Good to see Michael Cervantes back out on the field for the Lepers. He's dealing with a leg injury. Not totally healed as I understand it, but hopefully well enough to convert an extra point. Good snap, holds good, the kick's away. 
And it is good. It's a 7-7 ball game here at Claude Mann. 6.29 to go in the first quarter. You're listening to Malvern Leopard Football. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern or call for an appointment 501-337-9559. Back at Claude Mann Stadium, Mike Chan, Seth Roberts with you. 6.29 to go here in the first quarter. Take a second here. Identify our isolated player of the game is number 11, Greg Ross. He's going to play corner for us tonight uh, and sometimes special teams as well. Hard-working kid uh, has been working his whole football career to get to a point where he could be in the lineup and play. So uh, excited to see him play tonight and uh, cover the receivers on the outside. He's going to do a great job. He's lined up on the kickoff coverage team. Sky kick from Malvern. Bounds at the 38. Takes a Lake Hamilton roll, and they cover it at the 39. Unfortunately, they looked like we were more focused on who we could hit uh, instead of trying to find the ball. That ball bounced around on the ground forever. Robin, I'm noticing uh, a, a lot of chippiness in this one early. Uh, well, I, yeah, there, there's been a little bit. Ball spotted just inside the Lake Hamilton 40-yard line. Leopard defense gets their second opportunity. Older generations of Leopards would tell you this is a rivalry game. Oh, it was. Whether it is or not, we'll see. Looking to throw is Aitken. He gets it complete. Big game for Lake Hamilton. Flags. And that was uh, Jackson Johnson on the reception. Yeah, he did a nice job of just getting right behind the second level of the defense, uh, really undiscovered. And uh, as soon as he made the catch, he had some speed to get up the sideline and have a big game. But we do have a lot of flags down, so maybe that's the reason he has so much running room. Full load of laundry. Laid out around the 42-yard line of Malvern. It is going to be holding against Lake Hamilton, so that will negate a good portion of that big game. Uh, sometimes whenever you see them break open out of a big pile like that, uh, there's usually some kind of holding going on. That's why I was never that open. Nobody helped for me. <laughs> I, I, I would try if I was out there for you. I'd do everything. <laughs> everything I could to try to prevent the guy there. Penalty moves the ball back to the 48 of Malvern. Still a first down for Lake Hamilton. Still a big break from Malvern, though. That was going to be a huge play. Put the ball close, you know, the, knocking on the door of the red zone. And now defense still has a lot of room to operate. You just regroup, and uh, it's a new set of downs. Both teams looking to get their passing game established early here and teams that are known to be running teams. Give to the tailback balls oh, loose. The Leopards have it at the 40, you're going to say the 47 yard line, I believe. It was a lot of hits coming in right there, kind Here's of putting helmets on football. All of a sudden, you saw the extracurricular movement. You knew the ball was out, and uh, Wesley Murdoch must Wesley have popped Murdoch right into his hands. Fumble. Recovers the fumble, gets it, and that's a huge tackle. break for Malvin. Kind of a, uh, I guess, karma coming back around from the opening kickoff fumble, but uh, Malvin needed that to kind of take back control. So Leopards have an opportunity to take the lead here. 5.55 to go in the first quarter. Tie ball game, 7-7. Three wide outs to the left side. Freer alone to the right side. Now they move Florence into a slot position. Looking to throw. Pass underneath complete. Into Lake Hamilton territory. On the reception was number seven, Darian Weaver. Honey bun. I'm telling you. <laughs> Unless Hostess or Little Debbie pays me an inordinate amount of money. Oh, Calling him by his given name. <laughs> Trips right, split left. First and ten, Lepers at the 40 yard line of Lake Hamilton. Rolling right is Jimerson. Throws again. Got a man out there. Incomplete. 
a little high. It would have been a difficult catch. Yeah, almost, I mean, it held on to his hands for a long time. It was it was close to being a really good catch. Nice run route. Um, split the defense. You had the guy in the flats, the guy over the top. Freer does a nice job of finding the center of him. Uh, almost another big play, back-to-back -back big plays. But um, last time we saw that, the next play was a Freer touchdown. So we'll hope the same here. Second down and 10. Jefferson's been pretty accurate thus far tonight. Fake the give to Florence. Jemerson keeps, goes over the 40, down to the 38-yard line. Tobias Jemerson on the carry. Pick up of two. It'll be He's brought down by third down and eight. Randall That's Nichols. just a, uh, a big defensive front right there. That front eight is, is solid, and it's, it's hard to get a big push on them. And seven in the box now. Got a flag. Got a false start against Malvern. Didn't see Good ball foul. who that was called on unless one of the linemen Oakland. moved. Five yard penalty, illegal procedure. I think I saw him motion 52. Daniel Luton. Uh, not often you have the white hat running in to throw a false start penalty. No kidding. So it's third down and 13 now. Jimerson fakes to give to Florence, looking to throw, has time. He's got a man out there, but oh, we're shooting just a bit. Yeah, that was Brandon Scott, B. Scott, Scott again. Um, he was running a, a corner route, and had a step on the guy, and Demise just tried to lay it out there and let him run under it, and it was just a tad bit too far for B. Scott to get to. Brings up fourth down and eight. At the Lake Hamilton 43. Lake Hamilton not going to take a chance on sending anyone deep. And Jimerson gets away a good punt. Takes a big Malvern roll, but it checks up at the 10-yard line. The Leopards pick it up there, and that's where Lake Hamilton will start their next drive. I need him to come out with me tomorrow and teach me how to do that with my wedge. That thing just died immediately, didn't it? Oh, it did. It took a great head head uh, clean grooves on that club when he hit it. I was sitting there thinking, all right, that's going to bounce forward. There's a good chance we could pin them one or two yard by, and all of a sudden that thing just hit and started spinning. 7-7 <laughs> here, Claude Mann. 4.37 to go here in the first quarter. Really thought the clock would be moving almost continuously in this one. Both So far, both teams have put it in the air quite a bit. Give to the tailback, and he breaks free. Leopards giving chase across midfield. Finally tackle made back at the 34-yard line. Make that the 33-yard line of Malvern. Outstanding hustle play there by Braden Keeney. That's one of those that it's very easy to just say, oh, he's gone, and kind of start trotting back over the sideline. And he was giving it everything he could to try to catch up with him and bring him down. I mean, unfortunately, you know, obviously not a good play for Malvern, uh, but anytime you can see that, that says a lot about who you are, that you're going to chase a guy down like that. Oh, he had two steps on the defense when he broke through that second level. Oh, absolutely. Aitken, under center, gives to his tailback, this time is Caleb George. Malik Brewer on the carry, he's brought I'll down. i tell you what, Whitlow, had a, he did a good job of squeezing down the line and hitting him right off the bat, unfortunately. Uh, nice job of breaking that initial tackle, and when he did, he, he had some room to run and get forward for five yards there. Brings up second down and five for Lake Hamilton. Ball on the left hash mark. Aitken looking to throw. Under pressure, gets it away, and really threw it away. Had a man out there, but I don't believe he was looking to get it to him. It was Randall Nichols, the fullback. Well, I tell you, he missed Nick Hammock. Hammock was sitting in the middle of the field and didn't have anybody within five yards of him. Uh, you can count that a little bit to the pressure. Pressure got to him a little bit, caused him to rush it and, and get rid of it. Throwing on a run is not an easy thing to do, especially throwing accurately. Aitken again under center. Gives to his tailback, tripped uh, up, the, regains his balance and will go into the end zone. 
He's an impressive runner. He uh, was Malik, Malik Brewer. Uh, a few times I've seen him look like he's you know been hit and stopped, and all of a sudden he just starts up the gear again, and and there he goes. So he's a a powerful back. It's going to take more than an arm tackle to bring him down. Makes it 13-7, Lake Hamilton as they get set for the extra point. Jackson Johnson on the kick. Good snap, good hold. And the kick is good. It's 14-7, Lake Hamilton, 3.29 to go here in the first quarter. You're listening to Malvern Leopard football. We're not flashy, not loud, not overexposed. What Western Sizzlin' offers is the best family dining value in town, period. Steaks, chicken, and fish, and the largest salad, food, and dessert bar for miles around. All priced for a family budget. This is what we've been and always will be, and we're very proud of it. Come eat with us at your hometown, Western Sizzlin' in Arkansas. Once again, we return to Claude Mann, 14-7. Lake Hamilton leading Malvern. And uh, game hadn't had a whole lot of rhythm as of yet. No. We've had a couple of turnovers. Uh, Lake Hamilton, when they're clicking, they, they look pretty impressive. Yeah. And same could be said for the Leopards. Lake Hamilton's looking to establish the line of scrimmage, uh, put those big, powerful bruising backs in and uh, have long, sustained drives and just kind of break the wheel. And uh, Malvin's looking to prevent that on defense, obviously. Short kick this time, fielded at the 31-yard line. Across the 35, tackle made at the 36. Leopards will start there. Parker Freer on the return. Parker Freer on the return from Malvin, one of the up backs along the far side. I think Malvin has done a good job of coming out early and establishing the passing game, something that was absent last week. And I think eventually if it continues to open up as it has, the running lanes are going to start to open up and we're going to see some big plays from Florence and Jimerson on the ground as well. Jimerson alone in the backfield. Five wide outs. Jimerson drops straight back, looks to throw, under pressure. Escapes pressure, gets it complete at the 39 and out to the 45-yard line. One nice thing, Mike, about, about having a kid like Demise as your quarterback, there were three guys that got in the backfield right there. Normally, they'd be here spin back coming to second quarterback. And everybody's on the edge thinking, all right, we can't let this guy get out. we got to contain him. And Absolutely. It gives extra time for Demise to find London points there. Second down and one, looking to throw again, and Jefferson escapes one tackler. Now dumps it off at the 45 across midfield. And that is Darian Weaver. Darian Weaver, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> he does a nice job of seeing his quarterbacks in trouble back there, just trying to find something. Comes back, shows himself. Uh, nice job of Demise by finding him, dumping it over the top to him, and then Weaver does a good job to get forward and pick up the first down. The game is to the lake side, 47 yard line. That's a Malvern Leopard first down. 2.32 to go here in the first quarter. Leopard's looking to tie this one up. Jimerson throws pass complete. Tackle made at the 40 yard line. That's Lawrence on the reception. Yeah, Lawrence. Again, the stop route, which is uh, becoming a staple of our offense. Uh, Florence is a hard load to bring down. He had two guys hit him there, and he, he kept his balance for a second and then did a nice job of falling forward and picking up an extra yard or two there. Leaves the Leopards with second down and three. Florence in motion. He'll get the carry off. The sweet play to the right side. He'll have the first down as he's brought down at the 33-yard line. Make that 34. Yeah, the threat of Jimerson running there kind of froze the linebacker for a second. By the time he realized that Florence had the ball, Florence had already gotten the outside, and he, he cuts back up for a nice big gain and uh, picks up a first down from Alvin there. Good hard run. He'll stay split out. Jimerson alone in the backfield. Bring Florence in motion to the near side. Jefferson rolls to his left, throws, and passes incomplete. 
Yeah, I think he was, might have been looking for uh, B. Scott there, Brandon Scott kind of running an out route. Ball was a little high. I think B. Scott was tentative, wondering if he was trying to go to Dallas Lewis on a fade down the sideline. Kind of put a hand up, but not really. And uh, fortunate it wasn't intercepted there. Kind of fell at the feet of Lake Hamilton defender. Brings up second down and 10 for Malvern. Again, empty backfield. Trips left. For Jimerson, he looks right, throws underneath, pass complete. Across the 30 is Freer. He's got the first down as he gets all the way down to the 21-yard line. Nice job by Freer there, comes back, makes the catch. Good block by London Florence out there to spring him, and then Freer does a nice job of putting a, a move in the open field to get by another defender and get those few extra yards to pick up the first down. first down. Minute 15 to go here in the first. Again, they bring Florence in motion. He gets the carry. Looking for running room. Cuts up and brought down at the 16-yard line. Pick up a four. It's one of those you get turned in, and all of a sudden the minute you get turned in and you're squared up, you get planted. Uh, never a fun play, but still a good hard run on first down. Florence is running hard right now. Inside a minute to go in the quarter. Lawrence will set up beside Jimerson this time. Trips to the right, one man split to the left. Give to Florence, dances around for a moment, cuts it up fields, breaks another tackle inside the five. Fumble. And it looked like the ball may have come loose at the end of the play. I yet to it down. There's no challenges Brothers in high school football. I was going to say, I never saw a signal from the official. By Randall They're calling him down by contact. Florence made some unreal moves in some very tight spaces there. Yeah, that looked like a, uh, a Madden play. You hit R2 and he just, you know, he did a little shuffle to the right. And when he did, he just cuts right by two people. Uh, I mean, great run by Florence there. Love to see him hang on to the ball a little bit better towards the end and not leave out, but... First and goal from the three-yard line. Jimerson brings a man in motion. Face to give. Jimerson keeps. Goes off the right guard. And he'll be brought down shy of the goal line. That was actually the Wildcat with Hart. That was oh, Jimerson Hart. in motion. Hart put Jimerson in motion and then kept. You see, you, you give the running back, you put him at that quarterback spot, he's not handing it off, Jack. <laughs> That's the end of the first quarter, 14-7. Lake Hamilton leads Malvern. We'll be back in a moment. Once again, return to Claude Mann Stadium, 14-7. Lake Hamilton leading Malvern, Malvern on the threshold of the end zone. Second and goal from the two-yard line. False start. That it's is a down. false start it's against Malvern. Against the Leopards. It's a killer. You're looking at second and goal from the two. Now you're backing yourself up five yards. Like we're going to stay true to the formation, though Hart stays at quarterback. Gets Jimerson split out to the far side. They bring him in motion. Fake the give. Hart keeps. Goes left. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Malvern. And he had to break a tackle there at the end of the do it. I didn't think he was going to beat the guy around the corner. And then he just barely did. When he did, he put the shoulder down, lowered the boom, and got into the end zone. Great run by Jordan Hart. Clever's back within one as they set up for the extra point. Typically, you see Hart up the middle on the powering runs. You don't usually see him winning with speed, but impressive nonetheless. Nonetheless. I'm going to call you McNamara there for a minute. Hey. <laughs> Kicks away, and it is 
good. We've got a tie ball game at 11.51 to go here in the first half. You're listening to Malvern Leopard Football. Let MMB help your business keep progressing by offering you state-of-the-art technology. MMB is big enough to serve the needs of your business, but still make local decisions quickly for Central Arkansas. We offer mobile banking, remote deposit, and treasury management solutions. All of this from your local community bank, where you can still drop in and talk with someone when you want to see a friendly face. MNB, what a real community bank feels like. Visit us online at mnbbank.com. 14-14 here at Claude Mann Stadium, Malvern and Lake Hamilton. Tie it up. We got uh, my man Bray down there in the hat. Little man. Oh, that is awesome. He's looking good down there, isn't he? That is awesome. That's a younger brother of Devin Langston out there. He is rocking the hat. Yes, he is. Michael Cervantes has teed the ball up for the Leopards. Cervantes on the kick for Malvern. Again, high kick. This one's fielded at the 33. And tackle made at the 39-yard line. Lake Hamilton gets the ball back. I think uh, Randall Nichols got like contact. He, he basically did a full-on dive into our guy. Even if we would have moved out of the way, I think he was going down. Yeah, he was, yeah, it was, he was going down. <laughs> he, he wanted to lay somebody out along the way. So Wolves have the ball thrown 39-yard line. Again, tie ball game. Aiken under center. Fakes to give. Under some pressure. Gets the ball away. Oh. Incomplete. Through slightly behind his intended receiver. Yeah, Nick Hammock. He uh, he was open running the corner out, but he could never decide which shoulder to look over, and he's trying to find the ball, and all of a sudden it just looked like it basically hit him in one of his shoulders and fell to the ground. Uh, that, yeah, that won't be fun uh, on the replay. No, it, it won't. And uh, Malvern is very fortunate there because had he caught the ball, he had some room to run. One man to beat between him and the end zone. Second down and 10 for the Wolves. Nichols in the backfield. He'll get the carry. Oh, Hit geez. hard at the line of scrimmage. That is Jordan Hart. Hello, Mr. Hart. That is no surprise at all. Jacob Nichols on the carry. He, uh, he delivered he the boom. down by Alex no Jones. Nichols was trying to build up that head of steam, kind of like he was doing in the last uh, series, breaking a few tackles along the way, and then all of a sudden, uh, Hart comes out of nowhere and says, not this time. Third and long. It is third and ten. I'd say look for him to go to the air, but some of their more explosive plays have been on the ground. And give to the tailback. He's got the first down. That's Nichols. He gets out into Malvern territory, brought down to 46. Langston was coming, screaming down from safety. Uh, kind of that same position you used to see uh, Devin Shaw coming down and had a chance to, to really make a play and stop him short of the first down and just barely goes by him and gets enough for the first. So the Wolves with a new set of downs. Aitken takes a snap, gives to his fullback. He goes nowhere. Yeah, that was a nice play. Oh, that was actually a tailback there. Nichols, Nichols again. The Jaden Smith wasn't fooled Jayden at all. He, he stayed home right there. Sheds the blocker. Uh, meets Nichols right off the bat and brings him down for a loss. Great play by Jaden Smith. Makes a second down and 11. I'm waiting on this cooler weather you were talking about. Hey, man, I, the Weather Channel could lie. They they probably got their hands full with what's going on in Florida. Our temperature wasn't at the top of the priority list. No. Aitken looking to throw. That's a hold. That's got to be a hold. That's a full-on tackle. Oh. Incomplete pass along the far sideline. Oh, that's a complete pass, he says. Wow. 
I could have sworn I saw that thing bouncing along out there. I think that was Jay Sean Don's helmet as he came flying in. Utah Aiken uh, still a little bit in disbelief. Brown. Noble came screaming off the side. The running back does a full-on bear hug, turn, and throws him down, something you'd see on Monday Night Raw, and uh, no call. Give. Left side, lots of running room. This is going to be a touchdown for Lake Hamilton. Yeah, they're doing a good job of just sealing the outside right there. That time it was Noble. As soon as they sealed him, created the hole, there was just no one out there. Uh, again, it was a track meet, and unfortunately for Malvin, we did not win. Lake Brewer on the carry. I want to say that's about the speediest player I've seen in the white uniforms tonight. Yeah, he, he can move. Jackson Johnson into a tip to point after. Johnson on the kick Michael. for Lake Hamilton. Try to make this a seven-point lead again for the Wolves. Gets it away, and it is good. So it's 21-14 Lake it's Hamilton. Good. You're listening to Malvern Leopard Football. Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Garrett. I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday night starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! Back at Claude Mann, where it's 21-14 Lake Hamilton. They've been kindly trading touchdowns the last few possessions. Yeah, we've got to find an answer for that outside zone play because right now they're just pulling a, uh, a lineman across. And he's blowing up the outside backer or corner, whoever shows, and as soon as he seals him off, I mean, there is probably about a three- or four-yard hole every single time, and they, uh, they're hitting it with speed. And when they do, it's, uh, it's not, not easy to catch them, as we've seen the past few touchdowns. Johnson on the kick for Lake Hamilton. 9.31 to go here in the first half. Leverage look to respond to the latest Wolf touchdown. Short kick fielded at the 25. Across the 40-yard line. Good explosive return there. Jones, yeah, that was Rick Jones. Kind of looked like he had a chance there for a second, but uh, was clipped. Uh, the shoe streak tackle in a sense. Tackle. He didn't uh, hesitate. No, he, he took it with a full head of steam, and that's great field position for Malvern. Starting 44. Now they'll spot it at the 43-yard line. Nonetheless, still good starting field position. My bad. A lot of movement going up here. I keep you never know. <laughs> Jefferson alone in the backfield has four wide outs to his right. I believe they call that the, the oop to you in a movie I've seen. Oop to you. I hadn't seen that movie. Jefferson, swing pass, near side, Florence, complete. Over the 45, up to the 48 yard line. Jefferson passes complete. Actually, just shy of the 49. Uh, London Florence has been a popular target hey, right now. He's doing a really good job. Hey. Turning short yardage catches uh, into four. pretty good plays by getting upfield. You know, anytime you can get the ball in London Florence's hands in space, it's a good thing. It is second and four. Nine minutes to go in the half. Jemerson alone in the backfield once again. Takes a step. Swing pass. Near side. Complete. Not much there. Maybe a couple. For Darian Weaver. No, that was a good pursuit by Lake Hamilton. It looked like we initially had everyone set up for the blocks, but Lake Hamilton just came in a wave and uh, prevented Weaver from getting free. Still a short game, brings up third and short with a third and two. They stay with a five wide out set. Being Florence in motion. Fake to give. Jimerson looking for running room, and he's going to be dropped back at the 50 yard line, so lost. Of about a yard and a half. That'll bring up fourth down. A great play by 61 there. Uh, Braxton Kohler just catches the sleeve of Jimerson and hangs on for everything he's got. Able to bring him down for a loss. Jimerson set up in shotgun. A 
lot of signs here. Timeout. Leverage. Looks like they had a little confusion there. We'll take a break as well. 7.31 to go here in the first half. 21-14, Lake Hamilton. Fourth down from Malvern. Fourth down, call it a long three. Fake to give, looking to throw, pass, incomplete. Oh. Hit Brandon Scott, kind of back shoulder on an out route. There was, there was no need for it either. Brandon Scott, he was wide open uh, right at the first down line. Just lob it out there, pitch and catch, it's a first down, but a little amped up, I guess, put a little bit too much heat on it, and uh, a little behind, Scott unable to make the play, and that's a uh, that's a painful, painful end to a drive right there, it gives Lake Hamilton good field position, starting right on the 50. 7.26 to go in the first half as Lake Hamilton takes over on downs, ball at midfield. Oh, that was a false start. And Seth said that Wolves are going to have to back up five Big yards. Against Lake Hamilton. Yeah, it looked like the tackle took off a, a half second before everyone else did. Now supposedly one of these tackles being looked at by Arkansas, I'm going to assume it's 75 out there. They both got some size. 66 either one. Pretty good sized boys, aren't they? Yeah. Looks like 75 got a little bit more meat on him. 70's got a little bit more height. First down 15 for the Wolves. At their own 45. Aitken. No, no. Gives to his tailback and he gets good yardage off line tackle. That's Randy Nichols. Randy Actually, Nichols fullback. He's brought down by Jason there was Gone. leopards everywhere. He just kind of kept running by him. I don't know if they didn't realize he had the ball or if he was just running through arm tackles making it look seamless. Uh, but big time play there by Nichols. Good hard run. I'm going to leave Lake Hamilton with second down in a yard. Six fifty to go in the half. Sweet play right side. First down and more for Lake Hamilton. I'll tell you what they did too. Kind of a little tricky. Used to see with Houston Nutt and Arkansas. They broke the huddle and ran to the line and ran the play quick. And it didn't look like our defense was at all set and ready to, to defend. Nicely scouted by Lake Hamilton to work to perfection. Lake Brewer on that carry. He got it down to the twenty-five. Off left tackle. And that's going to be another Lake Hamilton touchdown. And again, it is Caleb George on the carry. Same outside zone play. Um, that time, Thomas uh, was the corner able to, to shed the blocker and was right there and just didn't react quick enough to see him as he went by. But, I mean, that's the same play they've scored the past three touchdowns on. And right now we just don't have an answer for it on defense. Makes it 27-14 Lake Hamilton as they set up for the extra point. Jackson Johnson into attempt to kick is two. away. Barely. No good. And no good. That was the sky kick extra point. The sky miss. 27-14, Lake Hamilton leads Malvern. 6.33 to go in the first half. You're listening to Malvern Leopard Football. We're not flashy, not loud, not overexposed. What Western Sizzlin' offers is the best family dining value in town, period. Steaks, chicken, and fish, and the largest salad, food, and dessert bar for miles around. All priced for a family budget. This is what we've been and always will be, and we're very proud of it. Come eat with us at your hometown, Western Sizzlin' in Arkansas. 
Once again, we return to Claude Mann Stadium. And Lake Hamilton is taking a 13-point lead on Malvern. It's 27-14. Lake Hamilton capitalizing after Malvern unable to convert a fourth down at midfield. And now it kind of becomes imperative for the Leopards to try to put some points on the board for halftime, knowing uh, Lake Hamilton is going to receive uh, the opening kickoff to the second half. Can't, you know, you can't really risk, one, they can't get any more points on the field with a chance to swing 14. But, uh, two, if Mallard's able to score here, keep Lake Hamilton out, that, that keeps you in the game and uh, keeps hope alive, I suppose. So Mallard's set to return the kickoff. Fielded at the 12-yard line, looking for some running room. Across the 25, that was 30, flag came in late. About the easiest block Good in the back call I think I've ever seen. The flag. Colt basically ran over the back of the, the Lake Hamilton defender. That was a, an interesting return. I don't think Langston ever ran full speed that whole time. No. I, yeah, I, I assume he was looking for a lane, but sometimes you just got to get upfield and take what's there. That's uh, shades of Le'Veon Bell, I guess, at Pittsburgh, trying to find that lane open up, but yeah. Uh, especially with that much field he had in front of him, if he could have just got forward, you know, it easily would have... He got out to 35 at the very yeah, least. Yeah. Back just the leopard. As it is, the illegal block is going to move the leopards back to the 20-yard line. It's really worst starting field positions Malvern has had tonight. Jimerson looking to throw over on the left side, has his man at the 25. Another stop route, B. Scott finds that little soft spot in the defense, sits. Jimerson does a good job of finding him. Now six yard gain on first down. Second down. They spot it at the 26. Leopards got to get over the 30 for the first down. Florence hits up in the backfield alongside Jimerson. Trips to the right side. Jimerson rolls that way. Throw in and out of hands of his intended receiver. Jimerson's yeah, that was uh, an out route by B. Scott the there. And I think that was one of those where you kind of see what's coming when you make the catch and get a little alligator arms. Uh, he was frustrated with himself right off the bat at the end. But uh, nice route, good throw. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to bring it in. Yeah, you couldn't have thrown that any more accurately. We got third and four here in the 26. 27-14, Lake Hamilton leading Malvern. Timeout. Going to take a timeout. We'll take a break as well. 5.46 to go in the half. We'll be back in a moment. Backhead Claude Mann. Leopards facing a third down and four. Trailing by 13. Ball thrown 26 yard line. Jimerson takes a snap. Throws left side. Pass complete. First down for the Leopards, I believe, depending on the spot. Ooh. Ball came loose at the end. I believe they're going to say he either stepped out or forward progress was stopped. Either way, we were fortunate there. That was a quick pop route out to Devin Langston. Um, nice block Jackson set up by Florence Devin out Langston. there, and Langston gets forward up to the, looks like, what, 34-yard line? line? That is correct. It is first, first and 10 down. from there. Jefferson again alone in the backfield. Jimerson, under pressure, escapes initially, flag comes out. Yeah, it was a hold. Across the 45-yard line, but this one's likely coming back. Flag thrown back at the 27-yard line of Malvern. Holding against the left. That was a, I'm beat, and I'm going to protect my quarterback from taking a shot hold. 
Last second, just reaches out, grabs a nice handful of jerseys, spins them around. Uh, really what was able to spring Jimerson there for such a good run. Um, but unfortunately, like you said, we'll be coming back. We'll be first and long. <clears throat> So Leopards have got to get all the way up to the 44-yard line. They are currently at the 17 after the penalty. Throw, near side, pass complete, nowhere to go. Loss on the play. Cannon Williams uh, fights off the block of Freer. When he does, Weaver has nowhere to go. Uh, that's a tackle for a loss. A quick little screen pass. Didn't really ever have a chance to, uh, to materialize. I'm going to have to work on our scoreboard operator's math. Oh, with the 19 to go. More like 29, isn't it? Or even more. Yeah, probably more. Give near side. Not much running room there. Lepers get back to the 15, up to the 16-yard line. Basically about half a foot gain there. So, yeah, they've got 28 yards to go for the first. He was just looking at the, the first post of the, uh, the chains down there. And was hopeful. That's all it is. Third and long, third and 28 from Alvin. Jimerson alone in the backfield brings a man in motion and a right tackle, or excuse me. No, well, that would be a uh, slot. Yep. Takes off early. Good ball, Kyle. We procedure again. don't understand that. Just watch the ball. That's neither here nor there. So the ball's spotted at the 11. It's third and 33. Fake the give. Jamerson lets one fly. Iso on the far side. And Malvin Whiteout turns into a D-back in order to keep that one from being intercepted. Yeah, that was Devin Langston running the fade route uh, down the sideline. Uh, really, Jackson Johnson, as Mike said, had a better chance of coming up with that one. At the last second, Langston comes in and gets a hand up and knocks it away. <clears throat> Which, I don't know, could have been just like a punt anyway, so... A whistle before the snap. Timeout. Late Timeout, Lake Hamilton. They stopped the clock with 317 to go in the half. We'll take a break as well. Lake Hamilton leads Malvern 27-14. Farmers Bank and Trust is proud to bring you Casasa. What's Casasa? It's an easy way to earn cash, no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy that's actually worth something. You do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for free Casasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. Back at Claude Man Leopards looking at fourth down and 33. Jimerson works out a shotgun, gets the punt away. This time Lake Hamilton does have someone deep. He feels it at his own 49 and is going to be going to break free. He is gone. On the return is Jackson Johnson, the kicker, by the way. Yeah. Jackson Johnson returns the punt. That uh, Hamilton touchdown. Shades of intramural football. There, they look like we were playing flag football. Everybody's giving the pat on the the side on the way through. Right? Coverage team had a nice pocket around him. Shouldn't really had anywhere to go, and all of a sudden he just turns on the Jets, goes right through the middle of them. Nobody even really thinks about touching him. Not a lot good to say about that. 
Not not good when you get beat by Jack Johnson. We we kept him from going to the wide side of the field. There's your positive. He's the sideline as a defender. That makes it 33-14. Lake Hamilton set up will set up for the extra point. I guess well, they're gonna go for two. Aitken under center, sends a man in motion far side, give to his fullback, and he is into the end zone. The two-point conversion is successful. It's 35-14 now with three minutes and one second to go in the half. And the Leopards need to make a smart drive with three minutes to go here in the first half. I see what you did there. <laughs> That's why I get the big bucks, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, pretty much got to do something on offense here. Kick is away from Johnson. Goes over the head of the up back. Going to be picked up at the 28, across the 35, or excuse me, the 25. Ends up being a good return by Jimerson. That was a bold strategy. That ball laid on the ground for probably a good two seconds. I tell you, Jack, Jack watched uh, uh, Jimerson's punt and kind of figured out that spin routine. He's got a good name for uh, spinning the ball, Jack. This is true. Arguably the best ever. It is in my book. Only other one I guess you could argue would possibly be Tiger. Yeah, those two are in the league of their own. I say. Yeah, we'll see what Spieth and Thomas do. Jamerson rolls to his right, throws complete up to the 34-yard line. And Florence on the reception. Florence getting a workout tonight. Yeah, London, he's had a heck of a game so far. I mean, I can't really think of anything that he's dropped. He's basically a vacuum right now. If the ball's coming his direction, he's going to bring it down and bring, pick up positive yards. Great job by Florence again. Picked up four on that one. It's second down and six. 2.25 to go in the half. Leopards looking to narrow this deficit before heading to the locker room. Sends Florence in motion out far side. He'll be isolated one-on-one. -on -one. Jimerson rolls that way. Throws underneath. Pass complete. Wow. Leopard receiver thrown down out of bounds. Yeah, that was Latron Matlock running that little abbreviated out route there. Does the best job of uh, catching the ball, getting upfield. And got extremely close to a first down. It's going to be third and inches for Malvern. I say Matlock may have been Weaver. Not sure what the extended conversation could be regarding at this point. Probably like me. Was it Matlock or Weaver? They're trying to figure it That's out. That's right. Well, it depends on I get to. We're going to have a measurement. They're going to measure it now. Okay. Yeah, you know, you've got a line right there. Yeah. If it's on the other side of that line, which it appears to be, it would about have to be short, but. I assume there would be no math involved. Chain, chain crew, they got to earn their money too, you know. Hearing some dynamite coaching tidbits from the box beside us. <laughs> if you're wondering whether the dead air, we were learning things. Shades of Major League. Dynamite drop in money. <laughs> yeah, broadcasting school's paying off. Yeah. <laughs> be third down and inches for the Leopards. I have a feeling I know the play. Let's see if Lake Hamilton does. Trips to the right side, twins left. Jefferson on the keeper. He's got the first down. 
and then a rugby scrum. He didn't pick up much, but he got enough. A couple yards on that play gives the Leopards a new set of downs. The catch the ball and go north He's play worked. Down by Eli Vaughn. The game is to the 42 yard line. That's about the Leopards first down. Although I think we run east and west in the stadium, don't we? Yes. Yes, we do. But if we said that, it would confuse everyone. <laughs> Just getting out my Cardinal Rose over here. Jamerson rolls to his right looking to throw. Now he tucks it, takes off. Oh, man, at the 48-yard line. Pick up about six, five and a half, six on that play. Damon Williams, pretty solid guy. The Pikes, Jamerson runs right into him. But big play on first down. Picks up uh, seven yards. Second three. Need to have a little bit of hurry up here with a minute 17 left. Only one timeout. We're walking to the line. <laughs> Throw underneath pass complete to Freer. Freer will have the first down. That'll stop the clock momentarily. A minute three to go in the half. Get the play call. Get to the line. He's brought down by C.J. Riddles. The game... It's to the 46-yard right, line. Ball on the 46. Leopards hustle to the line of scrimmage. Trips left. Two men split the right. They send Florence the other way. He sets up in the slot. Jimerson takes and rolls left. Throws. Pass complete up over the 40-yard line. That's going to be within about a yard of the first down. Out route. Down Go ahead. I'm up at out route by uh, Whit Jones. Uh, does a good job of getting all the yards he could possibly get and then getting out of bounds. Be second line. down and two. Second 45 and seconds two. to go in the half. Lavers with one timeout. Trips right. Actually, quads right. No, we're not set at all. They didn't Throw know near there. side. Freer on the reception again, and he is hit as he crosses the 35. He's got the first down. Clock stops with 37 seconds to go. Did we call timeout? Gain is to the 35-yard line. That's a Balvern Leopard. First down. Huh. Timeout, Balvern. Leopards take a timeout with 37 seconds to go. We'll take a break as well. Leopards trail 35-14. We're not flashy, not loud, not overexposed. What Western Sizzlin' offers is the best family dining value in town, period. Steaks, chicken, and fish, and the largest salad, food, and dessert bar for miles around. All priced for a family budget. This is what we've been and always will be, and we're very proud of it. Come eat with us at your hometown, Western Sizzlin' in Arkansas. Back at Claude Mann Stadium, Leopards out of the timeout. 37 seconds to go in the half. Ball at the 34-yard line of Lake Hamilton. Jimerson alone in the backfield. Quads to the right, he looks that way. He lets it go. Under throws his receiver. Jimerson's pass into yeah, the That B. was uh, all day we've been running the little pop screens. That was a little pop and go there. B. Scott down the sideline. I uh, had a little space to work. Unfortunately, it was, as Mike said, underthrown. Leverage now set up with three receivers to the left. Florence now moves into the slot. One man split out the right side. That's Fleer, or Freer, rather. Pass complete. First down and more. Leverage. Well, they're going to roll him out of bounds. Let's see where they spot him. I, never, I thought he got in for a moment. Great job by Whit Jones. Ran it out, ran out, got up the sideline. Was trying to tiptoe the sideline. Looked dangerously close to getting in for the end zone, but said he stepped out around the 10. That is where they spot. It's the 10-yard line. 24 seconds to go. Leverage back to the line of scrimmage. Trips right. One man split to the left. Come on, Whit. Get set. Move Florence into the slot on the right side. Jimerson throws. Pass complete at the five, Gets and that'll be it. Get to the line. 18 seconds left. No timeouts. Freer Jimerson was the receiver. Leopards running out of time here in the half. We're at 10 seconds. Jimerson 
Spikes the football, and that'll stop the clock with five and a half seconds to go in the half. That's going to be grounding, I think. That's what he's going to rule anyway. Unconventional spike. That's a spike out of the shotgun. Whatever he's conferring. I guarantee you that's what they're thinking is grounding. They're going to wave it off. You don't, you don't see many spikes out of the shotgun. We're on a fake spike. Saw that work pretty well last weekend. Yes, we did. So Jefferson sets up. He has Florence to his left. Four wideouts. Three of them to the left. Jefferson throws. Into the end zone, incomplete, and the clock stops with 1.7 seconds left in the half. Slant round there to Whit Jones. Very last second before it finds Jones' hands was batted away by, by, uh, by Jacob Nichols, Lake Hamilton defender there. Good play. 1.7 seconds left. Got time to run one more play. Leopards are looking to make this a 14-point deficit. Jefferson rolls left, being chased. Let's it go back the end zone. Overshoots everybody, and the Leopards are going to trail by 21 as they head to the locker room. At MNB, we know that every customer is different. That's why we provide one-on-one -on -one guidance from our lending professionals. Our dedicated team understands the importance of taking that next step, and we offer our customers superior financial products and services. Put the strength and stability of MNB to work for you with loan structures tailored to help you make sound financial decisions. Come see what banking with a real community bank feels like. Visit us online at mnbbank.com. Back at Claude Man Stadium, Mike Chance, Seth Roberts, and again, we're joined by the omnipotent Ron <laughs> McNamara. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a divine reference, I believe. <laughs> Onside kick. Oh, 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 just oh, it. oh almost, almost came up with it. Oh. And nice move by the Leopards. Uh, changed things up a little bit, and uh, they almost got it. Yeah, good kick by Cervantes. Yeah. Uh, every chance in the world. I mean, that thing bounced around the ground forever. Would have been nice. Would have uh, been nice. You know, since we'll we... We'll see what the... the, the if there's many, many defensive adjustments or whatever in the second half. I'm, I'm looking. I'm watching it. I've actually got right on the 50-yard line up high watching the, the first half. And boy, Hamilton's got some pretty good-sized kids out there. Yeah, one of them I see right now, guys, is uh, Jaden Smith has moved to the nose and Murdoch has moved to the outside yeah. on the line. Double handoff. And... Boy, they, they fooled me, and once again, me my too. hatred of the wing T. Jackson Johnson on the None, Nonetheless, the kicker, Johnson, on the carry, picks up five. Uh, a clutch tackle by Jay Sean Don there, too. He wasn't fooled. He stayed home. But if Jackson would have got by him, he would have had a lot of running room in front of him. Jackson Johnson. Leopards need to hold the Wolves there in their own territory here at second and second five with their own 46. Aitken under center, looks to throw, far side, pass complete at midfield. They got the first down into Leopard territory. That's our ISO player on the tackle there, uh, Greg Ross. Little soft slant there by uh, Keaton Hickson. Uh, nice catch. Um, Greg Ross there immediately to bring him down, but unfortunately first down yards for Hamilton. Yeah, but there was good coverage. Uh, that was one of those timing patterns, Seth, as you as you know well. That thrown there, it's almost impossible. Yeah. To defend, but uh, we had coverage out there and, and uh, kept it from being any any larger gain than what it was. First down and ten for the Wolves. Aiken gives to his tailback. Does a good job following his blockers. Gets over the 45 yard line of Malvern. Yes, Jacob Nichols there. He followed right behind, as Mike said, his lead blocker. Um, but 
Malvern did a good job of shedding blocks, staying home, filling gaps. There really wasn't anywhere for him to go. Uh, only a yard gain on first, bring up second and nine. See, Lake Hamilton's running plays in with a wideout. You don't see a lot of that anymore. No, not with the uh, with the hurry-up offenses and the flash cards. And... Aitken under center. Double handoff. And Lake Hamilton breaking out all the tricks here so far in the second half. They get up to the 41-yard line of Malvin. Uh, they're testing our defense, and when you're going to do stuff like that, you just really have to stay home, play disciplined football, and not chase. Uh, and so far, we've done a pretty good That's job right, with that. That's right, Seth. Great point. Because that, that was one that uh, could have got away from them, but there was a lot of pursuit, a lot of backside help and pursuit, and uh, granted, they, got, they picked up five, but... Uh, Always could be worse. Third down and five. Same formation for Lake Hamilton. They've been running pretty much out of that formation all night. Again, there it is, right up the middle. Nice to stop. big fullback, and he gets very little, if any, yardage. Maybe a yard. Yeah, I believe that was uh, Jaden Smith uh, stood him up right off the, the bat. And when, as Mike has already told y'all his size that is a not an easy task to do yeah. so great play by Jaden Smith to hold his ground and, and force a fourth down here it is fourth down and five for the Wolves again if you're just joining us Lake Hamilton leads Malvern 35-14 we're just underway here in the second half Wolves are going to go on, going on fourth and five Looking to throw his ache, and he's under pressure. Gets it away, incomplete. Leopards will take over on downs. And free, or who is that with the pressure? Aiden Whitlow. That is Aiden. Aiden, Aiden Whitlow, the outside linebacker, really had pressure on the, and on the quarterback. Good job there. Better, that's a good, good stand by the defense there. Really will get a nice way to start off the second half. It would have been borderline demoralizing for Lake Hamilton to go down, punch it in, go up by 28. But now you, you get a little life with the stop on defense. If offense is able to go down and put it on points on the board here, it's a whole new ball game. Trips to the right side. One man split left for Jemerson. He keeps, now throws near side. Very About a two-yard gain on the play. Yeah, that's B. Scott again. He's he's running just kind of a little flare route out there. And once he catches it, really doesn't have anywhere to go, so he does the smart thing and just goes north, as Coach Embry alluded to in the first half, and uh, gets all that he can get. This is a gain of two on the reception by Scott. Second down and eight. Ball on the right hash mark now. Trips to the left. Jimerson alone in the backfield. Green pass, far side, and that's going to be good for about a yard. Yeah, Latron Matlock, just a quick screen. Looked like he had a little bit of room at the front, but great pursuit by Lake Hamilton's defense. Uh, unable to shake the first uh, tackle yeah. there and just really only picks up a yard. Yeah, that, that, that had worked a little bit better in the first half, but uh, it was just like you say. He shakes that one tackle, and he's got, got some uh, running room in front of him. Once again, though, a, a timing pass that Jamerson's right on the money with the, with, with the ball, though. I yeah. Mean, boy, I'll tell you what. Lake Hamilton, really, for the most part, crowding the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Third down and seven for the Leopards. Some movement along the line. Flag comes out. We've just, just had to way too many of those procedure calls in the first half, and that's not a, a good way to start the second, your first possession in the second half either. You know what's funny about that? It's it's, foul. That's the twice that it's been called by an official that uh, does not usually make that call. Usually you see the, uh, the side judges are the ones who make yeah, that yeah. call. Leaves the Leopards now with third down and 12. Jimerson sprinting to the right, looking for some running room. Can get to the corner. He'll go out of bounds at the 35, a loss of four, and that'll bring up fourth down. I believe the message from Lake Hamilton this week was uh, we're, right. we're not going to let number two beat us with his legs. Yeah. And uh, so far they have done 
done a great job of holding serve with that. Well, yeah, not only have they not let him get to the outside, they're not leaving him a lane to cut cut up through. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, the thing about it is, uh, I'll cover it after this, after this punt. First time we've seen the Leopards in true punting position. For the, I mean, not position, but formation. formation. I'll get that in a minute. Good snap. There you go, Steve Laverne. Oh. Ooh. And oh, that it. one looked like my sand wedge as yeah. it is shanked out of bounds. <laughs> Had plenty of time on that one just rushed the kick. In arena football, there's a free souvenir for a fan. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was going to say some of the last Saturday night, some of the biggest and best plays <clears throat> that Jimerson made were play, were breakdowns. Right. I mean, when, when everything had just gone to snot and everything had gone south, he would hit, and every, kind of get the razzle-dazzle. Uh, and think about it, Lake Hamilton's a lot more disciplined football team tonight than, than Glen Rose was last. Sorry, here we go. Sweet. Carry near side. Oh. And on the carry is Malik Brewer. Brewer run out of bounds. Yeah, run out of bounds by Greg Ross, our ISO player, along with Devin Langston. Leverage did a lot of, a lot better job that time sealing this side over here because they've uh, – Lake Hamilton had a lot of luck running left in that first half. Uh, they've been blocking down on all the D-line yep. and then blowing out the edge, and when they do, it's been a huge gap. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight. Ed can – under center. Nice. And once again, they had me fooled as they me gave too. the first man through. <laughs> Gained to the 35-yard yeah. line. I was waiting on the ball carry to get up and thought it was 60 to the offensive line, and I said, well, no, no, that's not him. That was Randall Nichols. Again, this, this kid's 6'1", 230. <laughs> Another good play by Don. Don is, uh, Jay Sean has, has stayed home most of the night, and then when he has, uh, you know, it, it prevents big plays on those Very plays good. where nobody knows who has the ball. So True. good discipline football being played right now by Jay Sean Don. Yeah. Big third down for the Leopards here on a third and five, long five for the Wolves. Wolves at the 35. Aitken looking to throw Caleb. under pressure, uh, gets uh, it away, pass complete, and it's going to be just enough, I believe, for the first down. <clears throat> Once again, once again, Whitlow really had some pressure. The difference was he was rolling off to his right, rolling away from him. So it, uh, it's encouraging to see we're getting some pressure with our with our linebackers and our ends on the on the quarterback. Nonetheless, complete a pass. The art at the Leopard 19. No, I'm sorry, at the 29. Six fourteen left here in the third quarter. The Leopards trail in this one, 14 to 35. Ron, you know as well as anybody, we may have to expound on it in the, after this play, but uh, how nice would it have had, been to have had Whitlow on this team the last couple of years? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aitken takes a snap. Trap, boom. <clears throat> Trap play. Nice play. And the Leopards play disciplined football and stop the carrier for about a yard and a half loss. Seth, I think that's one of the things I've seen, the, the biggest improvement of here. You know, almost through the third for, third quarter is the discipline that the defense is playing, staying at home and, and uh, uh, covering their zones and their lanes. And I tell you what, that was a good adjustment to move, right. to move Murdoch uh, away from the nose and put him more to the outside there, lined up in more of a three. Uh, it, it's made a difference. He was the one that blew that play up right there. Aiken looking to throw again. Oh, Left man. side, got a man out there. Good nice job. play. Broken up at the last minute. Jay Sean Don again. Jay Sean Don. I tell you what, <clears throat> number 15, whoever 15 is for the Wolves, he was he was absolutely wide open. He had his hands up, and uh, quarterback didn't see him, or he'd walked in from the 10-yard line. I think if he'd have laid that one out a little bit more for uh, Williams, yeah. it would have been a touchdown, too. A little bit underthrown, gave time for Don to get back and get a hand up. Brings up third down and 12 for Lake Hamilton. 5-14 to go here. In the third quarter, Lake Hamilton leading 35-14. Aitken looking to throw over the right side. Got a man out there. Leopard came in at the last minute, and they're going to call pass interference. Wow. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Of course, I'm an old defense. And now they're going to call unsportsmanlike. Well, I'm going to tell you something. That, that looked like perfect timing to me. I think the only argument you possibly could have had was he made no play on the ball. Um, but, well, that's true. But at the same time, like you said, it, it appeared that it was right about the time the ball was selling over. So 
I don't know if I would agree with it, but I'm, I'm guessing that's why they were quick to throw the flag is because he... Yeah, they were very de very de decisive when they threw the flag. There wasn't any... Yeah. He had... He had no intent to play the ball. He was going to go lay a hit. And yeah, that's a, diff that, uh, yeah I get, that's a difference in when the, when the old man played because, I mean, you, there was, you, didn't had no in you, you didn't need to go intent to hit the ball. All he had to do was yeah. go knock them loose. Of course, those yeah. were the days of forearm shivers and clothes lines too, but that's another story for another night. Well, now, nowadays it's defenseless player and all that. And anyway. Back when you could pull the head slap. Yeah, you know, I mean, the first, first thing you did was defensive tackles was slap, slap the guard or the tackle with an ear, ear hole. <laughs> Knock him sideways. Knock him sideways. Make his ears ring. Fish is still congregating. Personal foul was against Malvern. Be interesting to know what uh what was said to warrant the reaction. Yeah, you never really know how these things play out on the field. Chances are, and even us, we usually see the reaction. As opposed to the, I mean, yeah, you know, the and, initial act, and you know that, and every After official. After that pull through the ball is moved all the way to the Lake to the Malvern nine yard line. It'll be first down and go for Lake Hamilton. And every official and every crew is different. Yeah, the way they react to maybe something said or an action or whatever, and it, I mean, it's, it's just human nature that everybody's different. What's yeah. going to tick me off? Probably not going to tick Seth off. Yeah. Or vice versa, you know. Well, it's, just, it's, just, it's just how you take things and how the perception of it's a lot. But yeah, you know how receivers are; they're going to get up, they're going to play. They're interfered with every play. Oh they're yeah, gonna, they're going to let true. everybody know they're interfered with every play, and D-backs get tired of listening to that's it sometimes, right. and yeah. basically say, "Shut up." Penalties move the ball all the way to the nine-yard line of Malvern. First and goal for the Wolves. Right Quick hitter, there. and that's going to be a touchdown for the Wolves. As they expand on their lead, make it 41-14. Randall Nichols right up the gut, all power. Smart drive into the end zone, I suppose. Oh. Jackson on to attempt the extra point for Lake Hamilton. They've got a kicker with a nice leg on him. I mean, he, he, he can put some foot in the ball. He, he missed an extra point. Yes, though, he did. Surprise me. He does not miss this one. It's good, and it is 42-14. We'll take a short break. We'll be back in a moment. Lake Hamilton leading Malvern. Back at Cloud Man Stadium, 42-14, Lake Hamilton leading Malvern. Aided by a big penalty on that drive. Yeah, it, <clears throat> kind of a tough situation there. The, the, the Leopards kind of put themselves in a tough situation, but uh, a, a call, I, I, and I'm going to call it, you know, under today's uh, a fair call against on the interference down there, but uh, then something was said or whatever that, that, that it just added to it. Here we go. Jackson gets the kick away, fielded at the 20-yard line. Up, oh, up in it at the 30. Is that Whit Jones? Yeah. Yeah. And then their guy took a shot at Whit while he was on the ground and no flag was thrown. Whit well, was going to point that out. Oh, by no flag followed the play. Uh, I mean, uh, I understand as a player for Lake Hamilton, you're wanting a little bit of retribution, but at the same time as a referee, if it's done on one, it should be done on the other. Ball on the left hash mark. Leopard starting at their own 31-yard line. Got a tall hill to climb to get back into this one. Florence back into the backfield. He'll get the carry on first down. He gets out over the 35 to the 37-yard line. 
If you just tuned in, we're uh, four minutes and 44 seconds left here in the third quarter, and the Leopards are trading this one 14 to 42. Florence again joins Jefferson in the backfield. He'll get the carry, looking for room to the outside. He's not finding any. Uh, Lake Hamilton has had great defensive pursuit. Yeah. Yeah. When the Hard first person carry. gets there, he stands them up. And they got Ham. pretty much ten other white jerseys flying to the football, and that, that's that's well coached on defense. I was going like to say right spot the tonight the for Malvern, to football me, football has been London Florence. Uh, he's been doing everything, catching, running. Quarterback, um, he's been, yeah, well. A little bit of everything, out, pretty outstanding tonight. London Florence has played a great game. sixth grade game will follow the fifth grade game two minutes after completion. Come on out. Lepers back to the line of scrimmage, facing third down and four. Another big third down for the Leopards. Florence again joins Jefferson in the backfield. This time, Jefferson keeps. Gets the outside across the 40, 45, 50. He's at the 30. The 20 cuts back across the field. And he is in the end zone, 63 yards. The block, of, the block that, that said it right down here, so I believe it was Tommy. Tommy Woodfort. Was that 23? Yep, Tommy yeah, Woodfort. I had the 23. The sophomore was the one that sprung him loose because he sealed off a linebacker to give Jimerson that, that seam to get through there. And uh, way to go, little sophomore. Tommy got him, got him a lick in and... Uh, he should get three of those points. Yeah, well, first real hold Demise has seen all night. And, yeah. uh, Lake Hamilton gets a view of what can happen if you do let him free. Cervantes on to kick the extra point. Gets it away, and it is good. So it's 42-21, 3.31 to go here in the third quarter. You're listening to Malvern Leopard Football. Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Garrett, and I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday nights starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! Back at Cloud Fan Stadium, 42-21. As Leopards get set to kick off to Lake Hamilton, a 63-yard run for Demias Jimerson. Makes it a little bit more respectful. 21 to 42, still they, they've got you doubled up, but uh, that was a spark that, uh, like we said, they're just, they didn't quit in them. You know, you, you're down that, you're down by that much and uh, by 28, well, cut it to 21 and uh, try an onside kick here. Maybe something good will happen, Seth. What do you think, Mikey? Oh, absolutely. Well, <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I don't expect it. On the other side, I don't expect this team to quit. And, and thus far, uh, they're living up to that expectation. It's got it. Oh, nice. Bounds at the 26, yeah, covered nice by job. Lake Hamilton at the 23-yard line. Cannon Williams basically has the dive on it. Down by Williams. Good job, Mr. Fontes. Just lays it right over the... Uh, the uh, onside kick Lake formation of Lake Hamilton, uh, uh, that open area, and just, you know, creates chaos. You never know. Could get a funky bounce. Malvern could get it. Worst case scenario, you're starting them back in their own territory pretty deep. Yeah, sometimes those little kicks right over the, the line uh, are just as dangerous as an onside kick. Because yeah. a lot of times you put it in a guy's hand that's not used to handling it, too. Aitken and the Wolves back at the line of scrimmage at their own 23-yard line. Pass. Looking to throw. Aitken lets it go. Well once short again, of his intended once, target. Once again, really good pressure by uh, Brandon Keeney and uh, Hayden Whitlow. He just hasn't had time to really set up back there and do what he wants to do. Yeah, that's uh, Braden. Braden Keeney. He's one of those I coach. Is really the only reason I know that. Yeah, Braden, Braden Keeney. Yeah. Well, he put some heat on him. He did. He had a nice play in the first half too. Good hustle play. Second down and ten. And into the tailback. Wrestled down is 
Malik Brewer. Brewer brought down at the 28-yard line. Pick up a five. I have noticed one of the uh, defensive adjustments they've made. The last two series, they've got Whitlow out here, on, and, he's, and, he's, and he's not standing up. He's down in a stance. Well, and then... And they're doing the same thing, I think, with uh, Keeney over on the other side, aren't they? And we're, we're used to seeing a, a safety that's going to come down hard, make right. a tackle, and, yeah. and right now we're, we're not getting that from our safety. They're, they're missing right now, but another solid yeah. play by Jay Sean Don. Basically a five-man front. Actually six this time. Six time, yeah. Timeout, Lake Hamilton. Yep. And Alex Nobles is up there, number 24, is crowding up on that side, too. 2.35 left here in the third Timeout, quarter. Lake we'll be back after this. Farmers Bank and Trust is proud to bring you Casasa. What's Casasa? It's an easy way to earn cash, no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy that's actually worth something. You do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for free Casasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. Once again, return to Claude Mann Stadium. Lovers trailing 42-21 to Lake Hamilton. Lake Hamilton facing a third down and five at their own 28-yard line. Be a good stop here for the Lepers. 2.35 to go here in the third quarter, and this quarter's moved a little quicker yeah. than the previous two. Been a quarter, actually, for the past. It's been a pretty quick moving ball game. But single coverage out there to the right. Again, looking to throw. Oh, his, he lets it go. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, They're going to call uh, pass interference yeah. on an uncatchable football. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Was, that's, that's too bad. I tell you, you know that, that uh, Alex Nobles was in there and laid a lick on the quarterback just as he got you know, Wow. Uh, uh, that ball was three feet beyond the reach of his intended wideout. Uncatchable, yes. Was there a reason to go hit him? Not really. If you start making a play on the ball, you'll see where the ball is, and you'll That's realize right. you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. That's true. Leopards really let the Wolves off of the hook on that one with a... Um, yeah, we have been facing fourth down and five. Facing fourth down and five at their own, what, 32, 33-yard line? Yeah. 28-yard line. As it is, the penalty moves the ball out to the 43, first and 10 for Lake Hamilton. Send a man in motion to the far side. Aitken. Oh, ball. Aitken's hit as he tries to get it loose or pitch it. Ball still loose. We got, got it. Leopard's there. Oh. Leopard's are acting as though they have it. It is Leopard football. I some of that pressure coming off that right side there. I, did. I don't I, even know who it was, but I, they blew I, right. I thought we, yeah, Willow, Willow was back there, but uh, Willow was the one who almost made the first yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He wasn't the one who caused the fumble. No, actually. he was. He was. Yeah, the, I don't. Somebody, there was somebody inside of him and uh, made a heck of a play. Yeah. It looked to me like uh, Wesley Murdoch came up with the ball. Though. Didn't number fifty come yeah. up with the ball? Yeah. It, I don't know. That was a flash. That was impressive. It was. It gives the Leopards the football back. Two minutes, 25 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Jimerson brings Florence in the backfield alongside him. Give to Florence. Florence hurdles a man. Gets down to the 25. Florence had a little bit more room there to do that little take a look, take a look, stick your nose in there and go. I'm telling you, Florence has had a great game. He's getting positive yards almost every time he yeah. touches the ball. Actually, they spot that one at the 26. Second down four for Malvern. Florence again joins Jimerson in the backfield. Again, he'll get the carry. This time, he will only pick up a couple Leopard of yards. On the carry. Get down to the 24. Leave the Leopards with third down and a long two. Yeah, I think he uh, he ran into a uh, smart drive pile up there. Yeah. <laughs> there was white on one side and a bunch of orange on the other, and there wasn't any place to go. Actually spot that one back at the 25, so it's third down and three. Jimerson 
High snap, but he gets it. Now he's going to keep it. Goes left side. Jimerson breaks through. And he is drawn down at the two-yard line. Wow, that's dangerous. I missed the days of the tearaway jerseys, boys. That'll be a touchdown. That's, that, that's dangerous in that that's got like a horse collar. Boy, that's a way to, that's a way to tear up a hamstring real quick. But he got away. I thought he was gone. Just could not get out of the grasp. Uh, uh, the old tearaway juice. Yeah, and that is impressive, too, to hang on like that. Oh, yeah. man, I'm telling you. It'll be first and goal for the Lepers now. Minute 14 to go in the third. Missing a player. A lineman. Oh, my. Going to have to be a timeout. timeout. And that will be a timeout for the Lepers. We'll take Out. a break. Lepers knocking on the door. It's 42-21 Lake Hamilton. You're listening to Malvern Leopard Football. Back at Claude Mann. And Leopards looking to score here. First and goal from three-yard line. They trail by 21. Minute two to go in the third. Leopard closes up to 14. Hold them. I'm telling you, this fourth quarter might get interesting. Wildcat formation. Hart takes the snap. He keeps. Goes up the middle. He's got the touchdown. Hart goes in from three yards out, and that cuts the deficit now to 42-27. Well, that's been a, uh, a good play for us in short yardage tonight. Hart's a good hard runner. Yep. That uh, play's worked for him. Yeah. It worked well. So Levers gets set for the extra point. Jace Turner to hold for Michael Cervantes. Bad, bad snap, and the Lepers will not get the extra point. Low into his right, couldn't get the handle on it to get it down for the kicker. Again, though, that's the uh, the first bad snap we've seen all night. Was a yeah. a huge improvement from one week to the next. Still draw closer here, but it's now a two-score game, which is very manageable with a whole quarter left of football. Defense can come out and get another stop. The Leopards are going to be right back in this game. Yeah, and it goes back to that point that we talked about at halftime, guys. They're just, I mean, they had every opportunity, especially early in that th third quarter to fold their tent, throw their hands up and say, well, you know what, but, the, but they haven't. Had some bad breaks and gave up a touchdown on a, on a, uh, a long, but not a touchdown, but they, they had them converted a long play for a first down on that one drive, and then the touchdown and the interference. Uh, a lot of bad things happened there that third quarter that the Leopards could have said, you know, enough's enough, but not these guys. Always good to be a Leopard. Absolutely. Cervantes set to kick. Onside kick. It's there. Takes the high bounce. Oh, oh, out of bounds. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, that oh, one was oh, oh, set up perfect. Oh, oh, Took oh, oh. the nice high bounce. Boy, Langston, Devin Langston was right there. He had his eyeball on it. It was set up and just took the crazy bounce, Seth. Yeah, just bounced right over his head. Very unfortunate. Normally, if you can get that, that high bounce, usually one bounce before is about perfect, it, but it... Took a low bounce and all of a sudden popped up, went right over Langston and out of bounds. 58 seconds left here in the third quarter. The Leopards are closing the gap on them, trailing only by 27-42 now. Aitken under center. Hit as he get hands off. And the Leopards really applying the pressure defensively. Really, 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 really. Wesley Murdoch again finishing him off. Nichols on the carry. He lost a yard. And again, the Leopards had a man in the backfield as the exchange was being made. Yeah. I'm liking this. Let's just get in the backfield and create some havoc. Yeah. 
They're I'm, selling out, putting a lot of pressure on the corners and their safeties, but they're selling out to go get to the quarterback. Good six aggressive. Six on defense. the line. They give to the fullback. He's hammered as soon as he hits the line of scrimmage. Actually, he'll pick up two yards, but it'll still be third down and nine. And I tell you, that's the gamble. That's the play call whenever you got players coming through like that is to try to catch them with a trap and have everybody run by them. But Jordan Hart did a great Good job hard. of being that uh, that second level there and coming in and laying a good lick on him. That'll end the third quarter of play. It's 42-27 Lake Hamilton. We'll start the fourth when we return. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern, or call for an appointment, 501-337-9559. Back at Claude Man Stadium. Give, oh, and this is going to be a big play for Lake Hamilton. They'll pick up the first down. Yeah, that was a quick trap that time. Right. Second level didn't find him, and he got through the uh, the blitzers. And when he did, it was pretty much one man to beat. Good job by Don to make the tackle, but still first down. Twig was what you said a while ago, Seth. When you're playing that that aggressive, that aggressive, you, if they can split that seam or, seam or get into that background, into the backfield. I'll get it right here in a minute. I like, <laughs> I like split that seam. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I, I've just missed it, Ron. I they know. called me you Ron earlier. You just missed me, I know. Here we go. Trap. Give. Delay again. On the delayed handoff, this time it was Jackson Davis. Brought down by Don and Langston, it appeared. But after eight yards, unfortunately. Brought down by Devin Langston. It'll be second down and two now for the Wolves. They're at the Malvern, 37. We'll see how much the play calling changes, Seth, here with the Wolves playing to the aggressiveness of the Leopards. Uh, with the four, or, uh, well, I guess 15 the Leopards just away. bringing everybody yeah. basically in the box. Aiken turns and gives off right tackle. The big fullback, Randall, Ran Nichols, uh, Randall on Nichols, on the carry. Good, Good job by Witt. Went, went low on the big guy. Try to go high on a big guy, you might find yourself on a highlight reel. So go yep. low, hang on for everything you got. Yep. Gets the ball down to the 32 yard line. It's first and 10 for the Wolves. Leopard defense has been on the field a whole lot in this second half, guys. They have. Yeah, well, yeah, that last drive was pretty short for the Leopards. In terms of time of possession. Cross Double handoff. Double handoff again. Jackson Davis on the carry again. Jackson he'll the pick up. He's brought down by Jayshon Donald. It's like five yards. Well, they're testing you. Ball Don't spotted at the 28. Don't stay home eventually. That's going to be a really big play. Yeah. But you know, I, honestly, I, I love the, the aggressive. I do too. I do too. That's yeah, what I mean, you were getting beat the other way. Why not try this? Oh, That's yeah. one thing Scarborough's always preached. She's going to have an aggressive defense. I mean, they're crowding. Yeah, off right tackle on the carry is Randall Nichols. Nichols will get to the 25. He did a good job of Randall riding bodies that were already on the ground and gained a few extra yards there. Lee Lake uh, Hamilton with third and three. I really, just watching this, I really don't know how much success Hamilton's going to be when they get into their 6A schools, boys. They're going to have to show a lot more diversification than they've shown tonight. That was a word right there. Yeah, off the left Move. tackle, big oh, hit wow. made, but may have been a Move. yard Move. late. Jordan Hart, that's a few of them he's had. Now, Hart, yeah, Hart's laid the leather on more than one of them tonight. He's following the legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got another one in ninth grade. Probably the most animated one if, you, if you've ever oh, met wow. Kobe. Gain is to the 22 Malvern. It's a first down 
for Lake Hamilton. Clock continues to roll now under nine minutes to go in this ball game. If I'm Lake Hamilton, I'm content to keep it on the ground. Yep. Aitken. No. Gets his first man wow. through. I missed yep. it again. Gain yeah. all the way down to the 10 yard line. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He's really, he's, he's really good at making you miss the way he handles his ball handling ability to show one thing and have the ball go another way. It just uh, He's deceptive, is what you're going for, right? Well, that wasn't the word I was looking for, but we'll use it. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm trying to win a Scrabble game over here. Diversification. You, you don't want to Scrabble with me, brother. <laughs> oh, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah when well, you can so, make up words. I, well, I, I'm terrible at what I mean. I don't want to Scrabble with you. Oh, my gosh. There he goes. Flag, Flag comes out. Gain down to the five. Enough laundry on the, out on the field for about two loads. I can't, I can't win a scramble making up words, so, you know. There's a flag on the play. And I don't need any remarks from you either, Steve Laverne. I'm just looking for the triple word score. Once again, if we haven't thanked them, uh, Steve and Mary Laverne, the long hours and uh, all of the editing and everything that uh, goes into putting these these broadcasts together and the, and the, the video and everything. Outstanding job by the Lavernes. Yeah, putting us live. We're going to find our way on YouTube and be famous one day. Yeah, I'm yep. afraid I'm going to be famous for the wrong thing <laughs> one day. That's exactly right. Horse collar. We will be infamous. You know, there's a difference. Penalty moves the ball back the 18. Holding against Lake Hamilton was the call. First and goal from there. Aitken under center. Looking to throw. Left side got a man wide open. Touchdown, wow. Lake Hamilton. Wow. Slip 21 out of the backfield, and he was out there all by himself. Yeah, we've seen that a few times tonight. It's, they've had a lot of success. Uh, really hadn't had an answer for it in terms of coverage. Yeah, that's one thing, too, guys. Uh, I think these young D-backs will start picking up on if anybody had looked at the quarterback, he was looking one direction. One direction. He was locked in on him. The extra point is away. It is good, and it's 49-27. 755 to go in this one. Lake Hamilton leading Malvern. We'll be back in just a moment. We're not flashy, not loud, not overexposed. What Western Sizzlin offers is the best family dining value in town, period. Steaks, chicken, and fish, and the largest salad, food, and dessert bar for miles around. All priced for a family budget. This is what we've been and always will be, and we're very proud of it. Come eat with us at your hometown, Western Sizzlin in Arkansas. Once again, we return to Claude Mann Stadium, and Lake Hamilton has regained the momentum. It's 49-27. Wolves lead the Leopards as they get set to kick off to Malvern. Ron, you recognize that fight song? You recognize that fight song? No, I don't. It's a college one, but I can't place it. I uh, know. Picked up at the 10-yard line across the 20, 25, 30, goes. 35, 40. And all the way out past midfield is Jemerson as he gets down to the 48 of Lake Hamilton. A threat to score any time the ball's in his hands. Yeah, and uh, he was caught from behind by number 11, but the only reason he caught him from behind, there was two people in front of him. He had to break stride just enough to cut to his left, or he was gone. Yeah, Kicker did a nice job of being the protector there. He provided that one last guy. Right. Jefferson had to slow down and make a cut, and when he did, it was caught from behind. Trips to the right, twins to the left. Jimerson's alone in the backfield. Looks to the sidelines. 
Screen pass. Near side complete Lewis. up to the 45. That's the sophomore, Dallas, Dallas Lewis. Lewis. Dallas, Lewis. Yeah. Dallas Lewis. I'm not sure if he played any seventh football, but I don't think he's played in a few years. He's traditionally a basketball player, came out and gave soccer a try last year, and now giving football a try. And he's got a lot of speed, so I'd expect some big plays from Lewis for the years out. You guys ever watch um, Meerkat Manor? Remember that show? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. How right. that, what's that got to do with football? I, you, I you, love you. Watch, so watch the field. Just come on. Bring watch on, the bro. field and you'll see. 735 is how much time we should have. The referees this. All right. Watch these football heads. Oh, well, they all turn over here. <laughs> they turn to the sideline. <laughs> Well, they didn't that. They time. didn't do it that yeah. time. Uh, yeah. Fake to give to Florence. Jimerson on the keeper gets out to the 42-yard line. Whoa! I mean, 27 was pushing our pushing our kid, and just right there in front of the referee, didn't nothing happen. Did you see that? I yeah. did. Am I over? Am I no, exaggerating? I mean, he he could have easily been called, I'll yeah, say that. You okay. called one on us earlier. I would say okay, that's about fair play. Jimerson. There they are. And we go, the There's Meerkats. The Meerkat, man. Yes. <laughs> the Meerkats. Oh, look. <laughs> Florence oh, in this. motion. He'll get the carry. Tries to get to the outside and will not. He's brought down right along the line of scrimmage. Brings up fourth down and four. That was a good job of uh, pursuit right there from number 61. He just ran down the line of scrimmage and basically gave Florence nothing the whole way. The Leopards will likely go for it here. Not much to lose. Six and a half minutes to go in this football game. Florence goes back into the backfield. Take the give, looking to throw. Dumps it out. Intended for Darian Weaver. He can't come up with it, and the Leopards will turn it over on downs. That was B. Scott. B. Scott, he was, oh, coming, I'm on, sorry. He was coming on out route, and that was, I'd like to see just a little just touch, just kind of throw it up in the air, let him run under it a little bit yeah. more. And, yeah, but that once again, that's a really we, you know we've talked about that's a that, boy running left, throwing right, cross your body a little bit, both the runner and the receiver. That's the, t definitely a timing play. And the timing was just a little off that time. So Lake Hamilton takes over with 6:12 to go. It is 49-27. Wolves lead Malvern. Again, Malvern crowds the line of scrimmage. Aitken looking to throw. It lets it go far sideline. Incomplete. Kind of an odd play call. Yeah. Yeah, a little pushing, pushing and shoving there. The long, yeah. But nothing. Uh, Ross Ross was going with him stride, stride by stride and uh, kind of bumping back. And the, there wasn't any hand action, but uh, there was, I mean, they were definitely bumping yeah. into each other. I just meant you had so much success on the ground on the last drive. You're up big. You just want to run the clock out. And you take a deep shot right off the bat and stop yeah. the clock. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Question that myself. Other than the fact, Ron was saying they're going to have to diversify their offense. They're going to compete. Maybe trying to work on that passing game. They go back to the running game here, and good gain on second down for Jacob Nichols as he gets the first in the Leopard territory. He's just spinning through Leopard tackles right now. Or Basically just throwing him forward for more yardage. That break your wheel is uh, getting dangerously close to breaking, I'm afraid. Yeah. Aitken's under center. Double hand. Double hand. Nice, nice staying with it there, but the Leopard wouldn't. Yeah, it was initially Witt Jones. He wasn't able to bring him down, but he that slowed him down enough to let Don down. come downhill hard and make a good play on him. Yeah. Got an injury to a leopard here. I don't know if it's an injury or a cramp. Kind of looks like a cramp, doesn't it? 
Looks like Delvin Colt, maybe 62. I cannot see in there. We'll see momentarily as he's helped off the field. The yep. fact they got him up so quickly tells me it's more than likely a cramp. Yeah, I think it's Delvin Colt. Well, he's sure staying off that right leg. We'll see if they go immediately to stretching, then that's got to be what it is. And that looks to be the case. Maybe. Maybe. The Bulls back the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10. Aikens gives to Nichols. Nichols brought down after a pickup of a yard. Nice play there. Good pursuit by the defense. Going downhill hard. One yard game. Bring up third and nine. Alex Noble on the stop. Ball at the 43 of Malvern, five minutes to go in this ball game. <clears throat> Leverage trail 49-27. Wolves back the line. Aiken looking to throw. Uh, has some pressure, rolls to his right. Throws, pass complete at the 30 of Malvern. Yeah. That'll be a first down as he gets all the way to the 27. Kind of awkward looking. Looked like Don might have a chance to break in front of that and have an interception, but then all of a sudden, ball just goes straight to the receiver. and Big play. Yeah. Tackled by Whit Jones. All right. Well, I'll just, you know. Uh, I guess Lake Hamilton's just being Lake Hamilton, and I'll let it go at that. Met immediately that time. Jarvis Owen stood him up right at the line. A little or no gain on the play. Bring up second down and 10. That was Jacob Nichols on the carry. And 48 the seconds here. The Wolves are work, working the clock a little bit now here. Aiken gives to his tailback. Gets across the 25. It's Malik Brewer. Jason Don. Nice job by Jason Don. He's been everywhere defensively tonight. He's had a big night. He has. A lot of tackles. 320 left in this one, guys. Uh, we've got Lakeside next week. At Lakeside. At Lakeside. At Lakeside. One of my favorite places to go visit. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun over there, haven't we, Mikey? Mm-hmm. The best ones when they stuck us in the field house. Huh. Yeah, that was yeah. no fun. Over the little balcony? Yeah. Yeah, on the little, sure. Yeah, we called the game from the balcony in the field house. The lepers jump off sides. Going to give Lake Hamilton a free five. Has a nice call by Lake Hamilton. It's aggressive when you're being on defense right now. You use your aggression against them and uh, pretty much had the whole defensive line jump there. Yeah, it wasn't any single person, that's no, for sure. No. <laughs> it was it was offsides by a committee. Make it third down and two for the Wolves. Stay with the running game, and this one's going to be a touchdown. Makes it 55-27. Jacob Nichols, Nichols right up the middle. Really only broke one tackle of Devin Langston, and standing in and the was, And the help wasn't there because the help had sold out to get up close and stop the run. Oh, and yeah, we didn't have anybody more than, what, seven yards past the line of scrimmage? Yep. Two minutes and 34 seconds, and the Leopards give up one more touchdown, and 
Jackson Johnson's point after is good. Trail loose from 27 to 56. We'll take a short break. We'll be back in a moment. Back at Clubman Stadium and Wolves have really taken things over here in the fourth quarter. Two yeah, thirty four to go. You know, it's it's been a game of spurts. I mean, they're a little while there in the third quarter we uh, had things going on right here. Kickoff. Line drive kick fielded at the thirty yard line. And gain out to the 42. Which you know we just we get something going and then either a penalty or a mistake or a good play by Lake Hamilton. Some you know there's always something there that kind of derailed us through the whole ball game really. And, and a lot of the first half we shot ourselves in our own foot you know with with some penalties and mistakes and, uh, well, and you just can't do that against a. A Lake Hamilton. Well, let, let's put some perspective in here. They put up 27 points with a chance to put up more against a 6A school. Yeah. Our offense has played pretty good. Yes, I agree. Um, we just got to go to work on defense right now. Sure enough, tackles, find a little bit more mentality like Don out there. Get, get some more Dons out there making more plays. Hearts. Hearts, absolutely. Hart had a tremendous game, too. Give off left guard. Good gain on first down for the Leopards. Jaquarian Thomas. The running back. Hunter Hughes on the tackle. He picks up uh, five on first down. Be second down and five. Trips to the left side. One man splits to the right. Thomas on the carry again, trying to get to the outside. Cuts up across <laughs> midfield. And we'll wait on the spot, but that should, that's going to be very close to a first down. He's down by they will call it a first at the 48 of Lake Hamilton. Yeah, the 48-yard line, that's a Malvern Leopard, first down. Be nice if Leopard really could uh, put something else on the board here with less than two minutes to go. That's who? That's uh, Jace Turner in at quarterback? Ooh. Oh, wrong direction. Oh, wow. He went west when he should have went yes, east. There you go. Jaquarian Thomas had no place to go. The pursuit over the left side of the uh, Wolves defensive line, the linebackers in the corners, they had that one stopped before it ever got in gear. Loss of, look what, about uh, seven yards, eight yards? Yeah, you seven gotta, yards. You got to learn when it's just not going to happen. <clears throat> yeah. Turn, get upfield, get as much as you can. Yep. Well, I'm going to tell you when. Uh, Jimerson's having a hard time getting to the outside. The rest of you don't need to try. That's a great point. That's a great point. Demise can't get out there. It's just, just we don't have anybody that can. If you're looking for a screen pass, like we may have had some movement prior to the snap, a minute to go in the ball game. Yeah, looking for Tommy Woodford there on a quick little bubble route. Wow. It looks like you would have had some room to run, but maybe, maybe not if the play would have actually been allowed the whole time. Second and showing 24. We'll go with that. Excuse me with that. Thomas on the carry again, and he's hemmed up pretty quickly. Yeah, almost immediately. Thomas on the carry. May have time for one more play if they choose to run it, or possibly could just run it out if you want to. Don't have to run a play. I believe this hey, is the ball game. I'm going to tell you, that official waited to the... Yeah. Game <laughs> clock got to 25 seconds before he started it. Looks like we will get to the line and run one more play. Trips left, one man to the right. Thomas on the carry again. Hit at the line again, and that will do it. It's a 56-27 win for Lake Hamilton against Malvern. 